Hey y'all, welcome back to Underdog Magician Tarot. This is your girl Cheeky. I'm going to be giving you some messages for the sign of Leo. So if you have Leo anywhere in your chart, these messages may or may not resonate. Please take what apply and leave the rest. If they do resonate, please like and subscribe. I would truly appreciate that. Shout out to my subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys. Also, shout out to the ones that have been praying for my recovery. Um, to the ones new to my channel, welcome. I am recovering from a mini stroke that I had in May. So please bear with me when it comes to speaking as I may have to stop to catch my breath or to rephrase my words because they come out as a stutter or a slur. Um, to the ones that want uh, to book a private reading, my email will be down below in the description box. Also to the ones that want to donate to the channel, um, my cash app information and also my chime information will be down below as well. But let's tap into this energy for Leo and see what messages spirit has for the Leos. What message do you have for Leo spirit? We have the page of cups here. So there could be, this could be some, this could be a friend here. There could be a friend coming towards you. Somebody has something to tell you. Or somebody want to tell you something. Yeah, we got the page of wands. So this, this somebody could be calling you with good news. There's a friend here that could be calling you with some type of good news here. We got the Nine of Cups here and the Seven of Pentacles. So this could have been something that you've been wishing for. This could have, this could have been also something you've been waiting on. You could have been waiting for this person to call you to tell you this good news or whatever. This could be about a, um, a collaboration here with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, <clears throat> we got the two of cups. So this this person could like be calling you, wanting wanting to partner up with you, or this could be your person calling you with some good news, your soulmate. I feel like when it comes to y'all two relationship, things could be um getting closer, or you guys could be getting close closer to each other. Yeah. Y'all could be getting closer to each other. Sorry. Ugh. Why you had to fall like that? Damn it. Yeah, we got the lovers and the knight, the knight of pentacles. <laughs> so when it comes to y'all's connection or y'all relationship, um, there could have been some type of slowdown or standstill because of a heart a breakup. Someone could have been heartbroken here or dealing with some type of sadness. Why? Because they found out the truth. So there could be some type of truth coming out here. Yeah, there was a secret. The moon card. This, this, this could be pertaining to like an emperor, a father figure, a baby father, a husband. Um, someone that has some type of authority or power. Some type of structure or discipline disciplinary person, a leader, a boss, yeah, two of swords. So there could be a, 
So there could be a secret that comes out about, you know, this could be your energy, Leo, for the masculines. This could be, um, there could be a secret coming out about you that you are reconnecting with someone that you see as your soulmate. Someone that you wanted to be in a relationship with. There could have been some type of stand, uh, slowdown or a standstill pertaining to a situation. Or this could have been somebody causing this. But there is somebody that you see as wish fulfillment. Or somebody could feel this way about you. Yeah, we got the Six of Swords. And an awakening here. So, and we got justice. So, some of you are being guided back towards someone after going through an awakening here. Having, you had a big epiphany or a big realization about something. So, this could be like... This epiphany could have had something to do with the way you felt the last past couple days. Like, you could have been feeling sad, heartbroken. Um, this could have been your energy or somebody else's energy. This could have also been your soulmate's energy that you was feeling. And I feel like the moment this person came towards you and told you this, it was a epiphany then. Like, oh my God. So every time I separate... Or go in the new direction from this person. There's going to be pain for the both of us. So it's kind of like now you could be wanting to come back and apologize. Or something here. You're realizing something. You're realizing that somebody is your person. Because of the way you feel. Yeah we got the knight of wands here. You can have a lot of passion for this person. Like you are strong. You feel strong. You have some type of strong passion towards this person. Something is growing within you when it comes to the way you feel now. Because you had a big epiphany when it came to a certain energy that you were dealing with. It's, I'm telling you, this shit is crazy. Um, you felt something when your person felt something. And your person feels something when you feel something. So... For example, if your person wasn't sleeping, you ain't sleeping. If your person was crying, you'll end up crying. This is a, this is a soulmate, like a very, very strong, 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 divine connection here. Because the both of you feel each other's energy, like, strongly. And all it takes is for one of y'all to announce that or, you know, um, speak on it. For the other person to understand, like, oh, shit, that's why I've been feeling like that. That's why I've been feeling lost or confused or detached. Because I walked away or I made a wrong decision, and that's not where I'm supposed to be. That's not the, that's not the direction I'm supposed to be going in. Sorry. Baby, don't get it twisted. Yeah, we got the two of pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles. So, now there's some balance coming back into your life when it comes to your finances or building this new foundation. There's balance being brought back into this foundation here. That you were building or that you were trying to build because you could be going back towards your person. This is where your abundance lies. Like, you're realizing that, damn... This is, where my, this is where my abundance is. This is, where I, this is where I'm going to receive the things that I need in life when I come into union with my person. Damn. That's a lot of cards, spirit. Take them. Okay, yeah. We got a cycle here. So something ended here. And now somebody could be in regret. So you could one of y'all could have been dealing with somebody else that you ended a cycle with. And somebody could now be in regret because... You could have blocked this person and started and, and started moving forward to go back towards your uh your soulmate. Or someone could have been trying to block you from moving forward or moving on. Whoever you ended a cycle with was trying to block you. They're they're now in regret. What else spirit from Leo for Leo? 
Yeah, we got the five of swords. Come here, baby. What's wrong? What's wrong, baby? Where is it? She won't, she won't get up, huh? You want money to get up? Come here. Wanna say hi? Put your cross eyes up. Say hi. You're getting bigger. Mommy won't wake up for you. She's sleeping. Say hi. Say hi. You cross eye, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't. Okay, well, I guess you know what you was doing. They trying to wake up. They trying to wake up my bigger dog because they usually be fighting and playing, but she knocked out. Why y'all out here? So we got the five of swords here. Yeah, somebody could be very like um, jealous of the connection that you're 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 about to be in. They could also be jealous of the person that you want to be in a connection with as well. Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords, this, the Knight of Swords, and the Hangman. So, I'm hearing there's there, there could have been a bitter female here. There's a bitter female that could have been trying to cause a that could have been trying to cause some type of shift here where something is delayed and slowed down or just not moving at all. This could have been an air sign female. Or there could, now someone can now be in this like guarded and protective energy when it comes to a shift after dealing with a delay and a slowdown. Yeah, we got the full card here because there's a new beginning. The new beginning is here. When it comes to your happiness or their happiness or y'all's happiness. <laughs> Baby. And somebody else is feeling left out in the cold. Or somebody wanted you to leave this person out in the cold. Yeah. They could have been also trying to cause you to have some type of financial loss so that you wouldn't give to this person because you could have already made a judgment call on the situation to be with them, which caused a tower for somebody else. And now they're sitting back spying on you and watch you, watching you and gossiping, trying to manipulate you with a fucking fake-ass offer here or some, some fake-ass good news. But that cycle is over with the world card. Somebody was only calling you to like manipulate you or try to keep you stuck and bouncing them with the devil card. Not gonna happen. The cycle is over. Okay, what else, spirit? Look at that divine love. I told you this. This is a, a divine connection, a very strong divine connection here between two people. I feel like too, I feel like the both of you have always felt each other's energy. Like y'all y'all always knew when each other was going through something, especially spiritually, because one of one of y'all would reach out to the other one. What else messages do you have for Leo? We got allowing, energetic clearing, gratitude, and we have loss. Yeah, so you could be a lot you could have been allowing a situation to end here. Like this this energy that was that you were in. I feel like that energy is now clearing. And spirit wants you to continue to show gratitude here. And someone could be like like I said, a, a cycle ended here and somebody is now taking some type of loss. Or for some of you, you could have had to leave some things behind. We got delusion, yeah. And then we got 
divine love. I told you. So somebody was somebody that's taking the laws could have been trying to cause some type of delusion here when it comes to your divine counterpart. Like I said, this is a very strong divine connection that I'm feeling where two people feel each other's energy, especially when something is not right or something is off. It's kind of like their hearts, their heartstrings are so attached to each other that if one pulls away, the other feels like somebody just broke up with them or broke their heart. They may cry and have the worst day ever. We got protection. Yeah. So there's protection surrounding you and this person at this time or y'all's connection. What else, Spirit, for Leo? We got instincts here. So you could have been watching how somebody act, somebody move, somebody talk. This could be either good or bad instincts, body language. Baby. What else, Spirit, for Leo? Don't get twisted. Why that car upside down? You just gonna on oh, here. Yeah, we got ancestors here. So when it comes to your instincts or somebody else's instincts, your ancestors could have been warning you because somebody was sending some type of banshee spirit, negative energy, trying to cause some type of delusion around your divine counterpart, your divine connection you had with somebody. There it go. We got reflection. So you could have been reflecting at the time. Somebody could have been doing altar work as well when it comes to like trying to set you up for failure or to make you make you make bad decisions or bad choices. You could be now going through a transformation when it comes to your independence. This could, this could have also been like an elder here, somebody that you look up to. This could have been a parent. Or it could have been a child's parent or something like that. What else for Leo Spirit? We got busy time and multitasking. So for some of y'all, this card definitely speaks about being very, very busy. So what I'm going to say to you is... Please make sure you are getting the proper rest that your body needs because there's a situation coming up that's going to require you to have a lot of energy and um, multitasking, like doing a lot of things at once. You could be working a hell of a lot and have to take care of, you know, like your children, your household, shit, your pets, and it could be anything. Or you could be having to take care of a situation over here and then go back over here and take care of that. So, for example, some of you could live in a different state. And you could be deciding to um, travel to come towards your person and also help them where they are. But you probably can't stay where they are because you probably work out of town or out of state. So it's kind of like y'all will always be at a distance, but... It's kind of like, you know, that's how it has to be because of the job that you have. But you do come home, you know, kind of, kind of like a truck driver. You know, truck drivers sometimes stay out for months and weeks, and then they finally come back home and spend time with their wife and kids. So this could be a truck driver or this could be another business or job that you had that pertain that requires you to be, you know, out of state. Or you could start you could have started this job in that state but your person could live in another state so you, you could be taking care of two households or two situations you're going to be very busy that's all i'm saying you're going to be very very busy what else spirit for leo yeah we have socializing and joining in make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people yeah so some of you could be talking to um, other people here socializing um, coming together with certain people that are just like you you know on a spiritual journey it's like y'all both can be giving each other 
Y'all both could be giving each other the right advice. I'm gonna check my. Okay, yeah. Or y'all could be giving each other the proper advice. We got spiritual protection here. That came out twice. It says, you are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. Yeah, so there's some type of spiritual protection surrounding y'all's union. And then we got, let your let yourself feel all your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. So this is talking about what I was saying earlier. Some of you can feel and know when your person, person energy is off. Yeah. We got, I mean, let me give y'all some blessing messages and I'm going to let y'all go. What's the blessing message you have for Leo spirit? We got a blessing on a battle that cannot be avoided. So somebody could be having to deal with something that they can't that that can't be avoided here because we also have a blessing of sadness because you could have set boundaries with somebody. We also got a bless damn. We also got a blessing for healing of an injury or illness. So someone could be get, someone could get hurt or be really, really sick. And we also have a blessing to ease we what we'll tell you a blessing to ease loneliness and bring companionship. And we also got a blessing on your health. This could be a fire sign here. This could be your energy. Or another fire sign. I wanna see what that is though. What is the blessing of a healing? Of an injury or illness. So when someone could have got injured. And could be healing from an injury or an illness here. Also something with somebody's health here could be healing. What is this? Somebody could have got hurt at work. Two of swords. Lovers. The hermit. And the two of cups. So, your soulmate here. Your soulmate here could have been dealing with somebody that was trying to blindfold them that they were in a connection with. And this person could have did something to them. Like, somebody could have somebody could have hurt this person or caused them to be, caused them to get hurt or sick. Or somebody could have been trying to do this to you, but you could have been in solitude and got some type of clarity here. Like, I don't know. This could be either that. Or this could be something dealing with your person. What's the what's the healing on your health? We got everything is fine here. So you could be you could have been worrying about something when it comes to your health or being sick, but it's saying that everything is fine here. Yeah, we got your energy here. The King of Wands. So you could have been feeling sick recently, or you could have got a cold or something. Or you could be thinking you could have been thinking that you were sick. No, it was somebody that was around you that was sick trying to cause chaos or conflict because they're heartbroken. Somebody could have been coming in acting like, Oh my god, I don't feel good. I um I got this, I got that, or something like that. Or somebody could have been also doing this to your person. They could, have been, they could have been creating chaos to cause your person to be sick by going through some type of heartache or sadness or pain. But that's all I have for you, Leo. I hope this helped. Please. Yeah. What are these cards at, y'all? Oh, damn, right there. Um, please stay tuned. I will definitely be back with more messages.